PricewaterhouseCoopers recentemente concentrado en tema de Strategic Workforce Planning de un seminario. La trata aquí de un método que la organización está implementando para ayudar a determinar la estrategia en el futuro. La estrategia no para atender con el aspecto de fuerza laboral para implementar la planificación estratégica aquí de fuerza de trabajo, tanto del sector público como privado. Es un instrumento para la compañía a reconocer diferentes problemáticas. Desarrollo de una manera de aumento de edad de pensión, envejecimiento y no efecto consecuente arriba del sector laboral. La planificación estratégica de fuerza laboral te sirve a una compañía también ahora me está decidida si te va a economizar arriba de forma de laboral. Uh, especially for financial institutions uh, who are under supervision of the uh, uh, central bank here in uh, Aruba. Uh, we also talked about uh, asset management and uh, well, how to uh, uh, manage the risks with, re uh, with respect to asset management, but also uh, to uh, increase the yield with respect to, uh, to assets. Um, because uh, in the past you saw that there was a lot of uh, emphasis on uh, risk management. Uh, but now you see, because of the low interest ra uh, rates uh, in America and Europe, uh, that there's more focus on other investments than uh, fixed income, like, uh, for example, infrastructure or investments in uh, mid-sized uh, companies. Uh, in the afternoon, we uh, spoke about uh, strategic workforce uh, planning, uh, about uh, the issues of the uh, of the labor market, uh, graying, uh, the grayness of the labor market, uh, new roles, the the search for uh, uh, for talent, and uh, the solutions uh, that are uh, that are necessary. And as PwC, we made a tool uh, that gives uh, insight in uh, the development of your uh, of your own. Uh, number of people in your company and the costs of uh, of the of the people in your uh, in your company, how that's going to develop, and uh, then uh, uh, you can get insights if you take certain measures uh, to increase the number of people or, or, or to reduce the number of people. Uh, what's the impact on your uh, on your company? Uh, we started this morning with discussions about uh, regulation and um, uh, compliance. So how can you be as an organization uh, comply with future and uh, current uh, laws. Um, then we will, uh, uh, my colleague Jan Hoog told something about the asset management. Uh, um, well, things you can think about uh, or the, the topics that are relevant right now with this uh, current uh, low interest yield and how you uh, search for higher yields. Uh, later on, I, uh, oh yeah, we discussed about um, how we applied strategic workforce planning uh, within the Netherlands. Um, so we uh, assisted several companies, uh, both corporate and non-corporate, and governmental and hospitals, um, how to, uh, yeah, how, what, which uh, intervention they should take now um, on the HR policy in order to be able to have your yeah, current defi of uh, your desired workforce in the future. Um, so w within uh, the uh, attendees of this uh, seminar, there uh, uh, was a, um, uh, lots of discussions about uh, how we can apply it on Aruba and what should uh, change on Aruba and how uh, they can help each other in order uh, uh, to, yeah, to be able to have a more efficient economy here in Aruba, which is uh, also uh, con uh, ready for the future, so to say. Um, So yeah, that's what we basically discussed today. É orador na DNA Seminário de Price Waterhouse Cooper, está especialista na riba e tema de pensão e personal. Além de outro tema, não trata também o aspecto de supervisão do Banco Central relacionado com o método e de strategic workforce planning.